I'm Brad Plaster, professor of physics here at the University of Kentucky. And I'm here today to discuss the physics of basketball and the physics of an Anthony Davis block shot. Let's begin by discussing the motion of a basketball. When the basketball is flying freely through the air, the only force acting on it is the force of gravity. But with the presence of Anthony Davis's hands, this then adds an additional force to the problem, the force of a block shot. Of course, Anthony Davis does not think about any of this physics when he's blocking a shot. But what the physics tells us is that the larger the force Anthony Davis applies to a basketball during the shot blocking process, the greater it is that the change in the basketball's speed and direction will be. If he applies a more measured force to the basketball during the process of blocking a shot, it may result in the ball being tipped to a teammate, which then may lead then to a fast break down the court. If you yourself have ever played basketball and blocked a shot, you may feel that your hand perhaps slightly recoils during the process of blocking the shot. This is something due to Newton's third law of motion. In order to stop the basketball or to change its direction of motion, I have to impart a force onto the basketball. That's my action force. According to physics, there must be a reaction force. What is that? Well, the basketball applies a force back onto your hand, leading to either the recoil on your hand or the sting that you feel when you catch a very sharply thrown pass. And so that, my friends, my UK basketball friends, is the physics of basketball, and especially of an Anthony Davis block shot. Kentucky wins!